At this startup in Atlanta, engineers are working on one of the trickiest manufacturing processes to automate, sewing. One of the biggest technical challenges in the sewing products industry is really that material flows, so material stretches and gets deformed every time you touch it. Industrial robots usually deal with rigid materials like metal or plastic and are used for straightforward processes like painting or heavy lifting. But working with cloth is more complex. It puckers or changes shape when it's moved. Human workers can handle that through touch and feel. And that's why uh, each of our systems actually manipulates the fabric in a way that it's always adjusting and correcting it. Software automation is developing robots that can do the basics, like sewing the edges of a fluffy bath mat or buttonholes on a shirt. But even that is harder than it sounds. The cantilever Lowry in this case, it's picking up a shirt front, putting it in front of the camera. The camera communicates back to the actuator to make fine-tune adjustments, feeding it under a sewing machine that specializes in doing buttonhole fronts, and it feeds the machine where another camera picks it up that's closer to the sewing head and makes fine-tune adjustments and compensations for shifts in the fabric and movement of the fabric uh, to sew uh, the perfect buttonhole. And then it drops it off into a bin. Our ASM, otherwise known as our automatic sewing machine, its primary function is to assemble all the pieces and parts that go into building a product, um, like a shirt, like a pair of pants. Um, and it takes all the pieces that the Lowry has sewn and puts it together into a final product. It does this by using multiple cameras, one uh, typically at the top and another at the bottom where it joins the pieces of fabric together. The ASM, for example, can sew a perfect circle with the last stitch into the first hole, operating at half a millimeter accuracy in order to do this. Tasks like these are usually relegated to low-wage workers in faraway countries, and so far these robots can't produce a finished garment. Software automation hopes to reach that stage next year. But the company is also going to have to convince the garment industry to invest in automation. That's been a tough sell in the past, thanks to the industry's low profit margins and access to cheap labor overseas. But as labor costs rise around the world and retailers expect faster, real-time delivery, robots like these could become a more attractive alternative.